Hello friends and welcome to Skill Slash. In today's discussion, we are going to talk about the data science industry and how it's evolved in the last 10 to 15 years. We'll then talk about some of the key questions that working professionals have who are looking to transition into a data science role. So let's begin by setting the agenda for today's discussion. So we'll start off talking about some of the best data science certification programs that are currently available in the market. Now learners spend typically in the range of three to five lakhs to get these data science certifications. We'll talk about the necessity and the importance of these data science certifications. And we'll see if these certifications are really worth the kind of money that professionals are spending for these certifications. We'll try and answer this question by trying to get into the minds of a hiring manager in a data science company. And we'll see if these certifications are really as beneficial as people have made them out to be. After setting all of this context, we then present our point of view, where we talk about the need for professional trainings to adapt to the current needs of the industry. So without wasting any time, let's get into the discussion. Well, like we said, industries have changed drastically in the last decade. The hottest skills of today are expected to get outdated in the next five years, which means, uh, like several reports have pointed out in the past, that there's a constant need for upskilling and reskilling for professionals to stay relevant in the industry. Now, this is something that has led to a lot of edtech platforms bringing in certification programs for all kinds of employable skills. The race for these certifications has made these programs extremely expensive and elusive to a large segment of the professional crowd. Now, does that mean that people who can't afford to pay three to five lakhs for a, da for a data science certification program or any certification program in any other employable skill would find it very difficult to transition into those roles? Well, that's not our belief. That's not how we think about the industry. We feel that the needs of the industry vary significantly for fresh graduates as compared to working professionals. Now, this video is trying to understand what is it that working professionals really need to transition into these data science roles. And this discussion uh, can't be better than, uh, than looking at an example. Let's try and actually get into the minds of a hiring manager. Let's say you're a person who comes from a software development background, and let's say you're a .NET, .NET developer. Now, .NET is an old technology. You could be a Java developer, you could be a C++ developer. In fact, you don't need to come from a software development background. You could be a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer. And yet, there are people in these specific industries who are looking to transition into a data science role these days. As we've said, you know, Harvard Business Review pointed out a few years back, the data science is one of the hottest jobs of the 21st century. And it looks like it's going to remain so for the next five to 10 years. Now, let's say you're co coming from a different background and you're looking to get into a data science role. And in that respect, you've taken a certification program from one of the premier institutes in the country. So let's say you've done a data science program from the IITs or the NITs. And that's your credibility. That's the credential that you're displaying in front of a hiring manager. Now, there can, there can be two kinds of employees that a hiring manager is looking to hire. He might either be looking for a fresh graduate. Now, that's a very large talent pool. In a country like India, that's a lot of people who are looking to get into these kinds of industrial roles, who've come out of their colleges, who've just stepped into the professional domain. Now, as a hiring manager who is looking to hire someone in, let's say, an AI or an ML role, if he's looking for a professional, what he expects out of a professional is that he can join the team and straight away he starts contributing to the team. So in that respect, if you're coming from a different domain and you attain a certification, now certifications are not very easy to validate. Now there's so many certifications flying around right now in the market that hiring managers would find it extremely difficult to validate whether a person who's done a certification program in data science could actually get the job done. 
And in that respect, he'd much rather prefer someone who's actually worked in that space. Now, if he's looking to hire someone who has a certification, he'd much rather hire someone at a much smaller salary bracket, at a much lower salary bracket, out of the fresh pool of graduates who are coming out of colleges and just stepping into the professional domain. As a result of which, a certification for a professional might not really sound as enticing as it does sound for fresh graduates. Now, on the other hand, let's say you are a same software developer who's coming from a .NET background, but you are able to exhibit that you worked on end-to-end -end machine learning projects for some company. It could be an internship. It could be something that you've done in the role that you're working in. The beauty of this data science domain is that it's not something that requires you to switch industrial areas or functional areas, but it is something that can get applied into any space, which means that if you've done projects that show that you've an, a desired ability to bring in the concepts of data science and to bring in the concepts of data-driven learning to the work that you've done, that is something that is much more credible. As a hiring manager, if I know that you've come from a different background, but yet you worked in data science projects, you executed end-to-end -end ML projects, that is something that I immediately find attractive. And that immediately entices me to probably get, give you a job, which means that people who are coming from some experience as compared to people who've just done a certification program, a hiring manager who's got the job of, let's say, sorting through hundreds of resumes for one data science role, you know, as a hiring manager myself, I'd much rather prefer someone who's actually gotten the job done in the past. Which means that when you think about hiring a working professional, working professionals are judged on a much more stringent benchmark. Now, as fresh graduates, certifications can be very helpful. Now, there's so many edtech platforms that are offering these certification programs and have tied up with some of the premier institutes in the country and across the world. But these certifications are the only things that can help fresh graduates stand out in a large crowd, in a large talent pool of fresh graduates, which means that certifications can be extremely useful for fresh graduates. But when we, when we talk about working professionals, the benchmarks aren't the same. Judging a working professional happens on very different grounds. What we feel is that project experience and relevant project experience is what is extremely relevant and what is extremely useful for working professionals to display that they've got the quality and the ability to get the job done in the data science space. Now, as a result of this radical shift in how hiring works, the way the professional training space has evolved in the last few years, it doesn't really match up. You know, professional trainings are still happening along similar lines. 10 years ago, uh, maybe a professional training program worked primarily on the concept of certifications because certifications weren't that many. You know, today, there's so many certifications flying around that for a hiring manager to actually gauge the ability and the quality of a working professional based on these certifications is extremely tough but it is much easier to validate the work that a working professional has done through interviews and through tests, which means that if you're coming from some experience, you must be able to display the ability to get the job done by something that you've already done, by projects that you've already completed. As a manager, you might be expected to execute end-to-end -end projects. As individual contributors, you might have to display the skill of actually doing the kinds of projects that are required for individual contributors. Now, with that concept in mind, we at Skillslash are bringing a program that not just gives you a very detailed and meticulously designed curriculum and skills you in the right direction, but it also comes with industry collaboration, which allows you to work with some of the top artificial intelligence and machine learning powered startups in the country right now. And with this kind of relevant experience adding up to your profiles, it's going to help you make your profile stand out because that's the need of the art. 
professional trainings have not seen the kind of change that they were expected to given that the industry has been changing radically over the past few years. Now, in an effort to bridge that gap, our program offers the right mix of theory and application-based learning in the form of real live industry projects, which helps your resume stand out. Now, for more details about this course, you must register for our free five-day webinar where we talk about how working professionals can transition into a data science role. And we also give you a data science starter toolkit that equips you with some of the basic programming and mathematical knowledge that is required to get a data science role.